Dude, those look nice. No, I would call it junk. That don't look like junk to me. Those look gorgeous. At least one of them has color on it. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> How you doing, brother? Are you Bruce? I'm Bruce. Bruce, I'm Danny. Danny, nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you, nice man. To meet you. Nice to meet you. Look at you. Look what you brought me. A Mopair. A Mopair, baby. The Dodge Coronet and the Plymouth Roadrunner are a match made in Mopar heaven. The 1970 Roadrunner convertible is one of the coolest rides in the history of muscle cars. Plymouth only produced 824 total and just 179 with a four-speed transmission like this one. Advertised as a car with personality for people who don't just think of a car as a hunk of iron that moves, Plymouth produced a car that, for me, was love at first sight. Tell me about this one. That's my wife's car. That's a plum crazy Coronet 500 convertible. What year? 1970 again. 70 Coronet convertible plum crazy 440 automatic. That's beautiful. The Dodge Coronet Super B was released as a companion to the Roadrunner in 1965. In 1970, there were only 924 Coronet 500s made, making her a real rare ride today. My favorite thing about these cars were the gnarly paint colors like Plum Crazy, Sublime, and Go Mango. They let other drivers know you weren't just driving any car, you were driving a freaking Dodge Coronet. These are going to be amazing builds. What kind of money can you spend? 50 on the Coronet and 70 on the road. 120? Yeah. I came from New York to, to see the love. You're on. Brother, for me, this is going to be a ball, because these are two very important, significant American slices of history right here. These are iconic vehicles. We get to do them. I love it. I love this project, man. I've always been a fan of Roadrunners, but being able to restore a rare big block Coronet convertible at the same time, and I can't wait to get into this. Bruce wants both of these babies done at the same time. That's gonna be a little bit tricky, but we're gonna work hard to make his dream come true. Let's get the ball rolling. Let's go inside, do some paperwork. Bruce, you rock, man. When Bruce brought us that his and hers Roadrunner and Coronet, I just couldn't wait to get my hands on it. Man, were we in for a surprise when we got down to business. For months, we've been hunting down parts, rebuilding engines, tending to every last detail on these cars. And while Bruce wanted both cars delivered together, we're still waiting on the repaired convertible frame for the Coronet. Luckily, Bruce was super cool about it. Today is the big day, man, and I can't wait to see what he thinks. Bruce, before we show you this amazing Roadrunner, I wanted to thank you for your, for your help and cooperation on the fact that I know you wanted both the Roadrunner and the Coronet at the same time. The Roadrunner was a little more cooperative, so we got her done first, and we will get that Coronet. Listen, I knew that task of doing both cars was a Herculean it's task. It's tough. And especially, you know, these cars, I, you guys literally we're bringing them back from the dead. I, I gotta admit, though, I am a little disappointed because I'm not ready and Mama runs the show. The Coronet's coming. It'll be here, but are you ready to see this gorgeous car? Oh, man, I've been waiting all my 35 years. Ryan! Bring that beautiful road runner out, baby! That sound. Wow! <laughs> Take your time, Bruce. Wow, yeah, outstanding. Man. Every inch of her, brother, is just beautiful. That gun grip shifter. Look inside that fender well itself. I mean, just, just little things. Car is you perfect. You detail it to death. To death. This 1970 Roadrunner got the Count's Customs touch from head to toe. She'd been sitting for almost 30 years, so it took a whole team effort to bring this beautiful ride back to life. My fab team had their work cut out for them, essentially rebuilding this car from scratch. Man, they did a phenomenal job. We hooked Bruce up with hand-stitched all-white stock interior, and the paint department topped it off with a classic light metallic blue paint job. And of course, we had to put a little bit of our own funk on it, adding a bumblebee stripe around the back with a custom graphic just for Bruce. This Roadrunner looks so good, Bruce might just forget about that coronet. There she goes. You can feel the love Bruce has for this car because, man, it's contagious. And when you see a man this happy, well, you just can't deny his wife the same thing. Too bad Jennifer's not going to get her car, but yeah. I'm sure if I take her out in this. I do have something for you to take back that might ease the pain a little bit for her. If it's OK, I'd like to send a gift back 
Oh, well, for listen, Danny, you just, don't have to do just that. A, well, I made a promise to you a long time ago. You know, you wanted you wanted a specific thing, bro. What, what do you? Rolly, bring that beautiful baby out. What do you do? What I let you go. What no, I, I know you wouldn't. But what does that sound like, bro? Take your time again, my brother. Take your time. He is chill. Yeah, and don't get old. I may get laid behind this, OK? Good golly, Miss Molly. When Bruce came to Count's Customs, he asked for his and hers Mopar. So there was no way he was going back to New York without both the his and the hers. This 1970 Coronet was a bear to get done. But my team kicked it up a notch and came through like always. My guys in body and fab went crazy on this coronet and got her straight as an arrow. The upholstery team fixed up the convertible top and gave her a gorgeous bone stock interior. The paint department brought this coronet back to 1970 and painted her one of my personal favorite colors, plum crazy purple. And since these two beautiful rides are matching Mopars, we gave the coronet a bumblebee stripe just like the Roadrunner. These two cars sitting side by side look just like the perfect his and hers pair. We delivered the two projects, his and hers, Wait, ready to go. You man. outdid yourself. Bruce, we got this for you. It's no. got your uh, initials right there. You brought us the his and hers cars. You're going home with his and hers cars. Wanted to make sure you go home with his and hers official oh, counts, time. customs, Dickies, jackets. Jennifer's is the official ladies Dickies version. Wow. So you've got the official counts, customs, his wow. and hers jackets to go with your his and hers cars because like your cars, they're comfortable and they're built to work. Wow. So please she fly the flag when you go home. Bruce trusted us with two cars that were very important to him. He's been sitting on these things for over 30 years, and today's the day he got to see them in their former glory. It's just a nice touch to a, a, a beautiful day. We will, we'll get the cars ready for shipping. Rolly, nice job. Ryan, rock and roll, man. A couple of sexy Mopars right here in the driveway. One.